Welcome back. The Army is spearheading a cutting-edge investigation into the origins of behavioral health problems in military personnel. In part three of our series on suicide, our medical editor, Dr. Paul Little, takes a look at the study. It's the biggest suicide and mental health study of soldiers ever started. With the help of a $50 million grant from the Army through the National Institute for Mental Health, four major universities, Harvard, Columbia, the University of Michigan, and the military's own Bear School of Medicine, will join forces to look into virtually everything that could possibly drive a soldier to take his own life. The study has a number of components, the first of which is a historical piece, which is to look backwards the past five years at individuals who have committed suicide and look at data that is available on them and it will look forward for the next five years at those who commit, attempt, or plan suicide. Orsano says they hope to enroll up to 80,000 Army recruits each year. We will be asking people in basic training if they'd be willing to provide blood as well as to provide saliva, so that as part of our neurobiologic studies, we'll hope to identify some of the genes that put people at risk. And most importantly, the researchers will take a look at our current methods of prevention, programs like Battle Mind and War Ops, and the stand downs we did several months ago, and tell us if they're working or not working. The data they collect will not only help the Army, but it'll help the nation as well. Suicide in the United States is a major concern. The number of people killing themselves in the U.S. last year just about equal the number killed in traffic accidents. And Orsano says that's an opportunity for the Army to confront its own problem and lead the nation in addressing a national concern. Dr. Paul Little, Washington.